Hey guys, this is Deb Rayleigh with the Social Tech Team and in today's training tutorial I'm going to show you how to remove effortlessly the background to an image because you never know when you might want to use just one subject in an entire photograph. So I'll show you an application for this and I'll show you how to save this shortcut to your home screen so that if you want to use it in the future it is easily accessible. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do on your phone is you're going to access your web browser. So in this case, I'm showing you an iPhone, so I'll be using the Safari browser, but on a Android device, you might use Chrome. So let's open up the website. And the website you're going to is called remove.bg. Because this is a website, you can also use this on a desktop computer, so it's not limited to just mobile devices. This is both for desktop or mobile devices. So it's remove.bg. And from here, you'll just simply tap the green button that says select a photo. Now this is a free tool, a free um, service that you can use, which is wonderful. And I'll select photo library and access the photos on my phone. So let me grab a photo. And you'll see what happens is the website will start uploading the photo that you've selected. It will show you the image without the background and if you scroll down, it will now show you the image with the background removed. And you can see it's a pretty detailed background with the lines and the shadings and the variations of the brick. And it pulls away the image that's at the forefront of the image and automatically leaves that current and makes the, uh, the back of the screen there transparent. So let me go ahead and accept that little purple button there. So once I've gotten the background um, transparent, then I'm ready to download it. Now, every once in a while when it does this, it might leave a little something here or a little something there. If you'll just tap on edit, you'll see that you have some edit options where you can um, erase parts that might have been overlooked or restore things that might have been um, accidentally erased. All right, but in this case, it came out perfectly. So now I just want to download it and I'll just tap on my little download right up here in the top right of my screen. Okay, we'll tap the green button and you'll see this information pop up. Now, I know you want to click download, but really on an iPhone, it's not going to download into your photos section. You're actually going to tap view and it's gonna show you a view. So you now want to save this image to your camera roll so let's click this little um, box at the bottom of your screen with the upward arrow. And if you've updated to the new uh, I iOS 13, things look a little different. So you're going to want to scroll up, keep scrolling until you see where it says save image right there. Then you tap this and now it's downloaded to your photos section. I go to my photos, you can see it's now saved there on my photos section. So that's how we've removed the background of this image. Let me show you how to make a shortcut on your home screen for that remove BG so that you don't have to go to the Safari or the web browser every time. You can just tap on a little shortcut like this. So let me show you how you make that. Here I've opened up Safari and I just typed in the website and again, it doesn't have to be Remove BG. This could be your online catalog for your business. This could be your own personal website. It doesn't matter what website we're talking about. It's all the same. So here I've put Remove.BG. Again, I go back to my little square with the upward arrow. So if I tap on this and I drag my finger and scroll up, you'll see this little box that says Add to Home Screen. If I click this, I can call this what you can rename this to whatever you want. You won't change this because this is the website, but you'll call this whatever you want. And this is the icon that will show up and I'll say add. So now you can see I have this little shortcut right here on my screen. So instead of having to go through Safari every time, if I just want to use that website, I just tap on remove BG and guess what's going to happen? It pulls right up. That's an easy one. That's a shortcut. Now, let me show you how we're going to use our newly created sticker on top of another image. The app that I'm going to be using is an app called InShot. Guys, it's one of absolutely my favorite apps. It's a, it does everything, photo editing, collage making, video making. 
And we teach this extensively in the Social Tech Academy. Uh, all the things that I'm showing you, we cover, this is one, these are one of the many tools that we show you uh, to make things easier for you so that you can learn to create things on your own um, and do it with confidence and it really will help with your branding. So here in InShot, if I grab a photo that I want to edit, so here's a photo that I want to include myself on. So I'm going to have this photo, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to insert my picture right here as if I'm pointing to this image. So this would be called a sticker in this case. So I'm going to tap on sticker and you can see it comes with some standard stickers, but I'm going to use this little uh, box here that looks like it has a little mountain range that's kind of the universal symbol for photo. So I'm going to tap on this to pull up my photos and there is my sticker that we just created. I'm going to enlarge this. Whoops. Try tapping on the right thing, Deborah. I'm going to enlarge this. So it looks like I'm part of this. So now I am inserting myself with this particular graphic so that as I share this with my audience, they know who it is that's sending it and uh, it, they're, I'm top of mind, so to speak. So I'm gonna save this. And again, to save the image, I might include, or oh, you know what, let me go back here and include my website on this. So I'm gonna type in, tap T for text and I'll insert my website so that the people shopping know exactly where to go. And I'll drag that over. And guys, if you don't know how to uh, get your custom domain, that's one of the other things that we're gonna talk about in our branding section of the Social Tech Success Path. So there you go. So now it's got myself, on that image with my website and now I'm ready to save it and I'm going to save it to my camera roll. Guys, that's it. Easy stuff and it doesn't take very much time at all. I encourage you to try this today and give it a shot. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Take care.